Hey y'all, today's video is going to be a little bit out of the ordinary for me because I'm going to be applying a wig for the very first time. I have never worn a wig before in my life and the hair is from All Love Hair Company. And here's the contents of the box. It includes the wig, which is a short bob wig in 14 inches, some eyelashes, a wig cap, and a t-shirt that the company so graciously sent. So here is the unit out of the box. I'm just going to comb it out to get rid of any tangles. And it is a middle part lace front unit. The hair is very soft, so I'm pretty excited about testing it out. I'm first going to start out by washing the hair. I'm going to use a shampoo that is light that's not going to weigh the hair down. So I decided to go with the Garnier Fructis because that's really um, all that I had besides my natural shampoo here at home. So I'm going to wash the hair with that and then I will follow it up with a conditioner. And as a little bit of added protection from the wet wig, I'm going to put a plastic cap over my wig stand and then use a comb to detangle my wig and reestablish the part. And then I will put it under a hooded dryer for about an hour. Now that the unit is completely dry, I will again go back in and make my part and I will be using a little bit of mousse to help me do so. This mousse will help make the parting a little bit easier and also get rid of flyaways. Now the knots have already been bleached as you can see and then it com the unit comes with three combs, one in the back and two on the side as well as an adjustable band in the back. I left my baby hairs out because I will not be using any glue or spray today. I already have an issue with thin edges, so I'm going to try to go without using any type of adhesive. I'll be using this wig cap today to protect my hair as well as to make my part look a little bit more realistic. Here I'm just trying the wig on to see how it fits to determine if I should make any adjustments. I'm also going to check out the part and as you can see it is pretty dense so I will be doing some plucking in the next clip but I'm going to take the wig off to make um, that process a little bit easier. So here you see me I'm just um, removing some of those hairs along that middle part to open it up and make it a look a little bit more natural. And honestly there's really no special technique to what I'm doing right now. I'm just um, tweezing the part to thin it out until I get it to my liking and as I continue to, to do this you will see that the part will start to look a little bit more natural and it is already looking way better than it did before. After a few minutes of plucking I'm going to go ahead and put my wig on but before doing so I'm going to use this grip band to prevent my unit from sliding once I put it on and then I'm just going to pull it down and get it to where I want it make sure the combs are snug and secure and then I'm going to start cutting away the lace and again I'm really winging it right now being that I have never dealt with the wig or lace before I'm strictly going off of videos that I have seen on YouTube of how this is done and I am cutting the lace right along the hairline and any excess lace that is around my ear that will not allow the unit to lay flat I am cutting that away as well. I did not cut any baby hairs on the unit instead I'm going to be using my own baby hairs to help conceal the lace. Here I'm just brushing it, brushing my edges in to help um, cover up the lace. And because this is a middle part, I'm really not concerned about the lace on the side showing because the hair um, will fall evenly on both sides to help cover up the lace as well as any imperfections around my edges. I 
All right, now I'm going to use an edge scarf to allow my hair to sit. Then I'm going to apply a little bit of Aunt Jackie's Shine Mist to my hair to add a little bit of sheen and to ensure my hair comes out as silky as possible once I start flat ironing. And to wrap things up, I'm going to grab my concealer and dab a little bit along the part to help hide where the lace begins and to also lighten the part up so that it better matches my skin tone. And to check the visibility of the lace on the sides, I'm just going to pull my hair back. And if the lace is showing, I just tease my edges a little bit to help further conceal that lace. And here is the final look, y'all. I really don't think I did have bad for it to have been my first time applying a wig. I am very pleased with the results. But I would love to know your opinion on how I did applying this unit. So please don't hesitate to leave any comments down below. I will be leaving more details on this unit down below in the description box along with information about All Love Hair Company. I will uh, provide you with their website link and social media accounts if you are interested in purchasing this unit. And um, that is my time, y'all. As always, I appreciate you guys for watching. Um, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys on the next video.